So check this out, my friends. This is what I got going on so far. Uh, I've been working most of the day. I've been painting, doing a lot of painting. I got high from the fumes. I uh, went and bought new paints because my old paint was like 15, 20 years old and it was crap. So it was the same color as this, but I went ahead and bought another can and it uh, sprayed really well. I bought the light blue metallic for the interior. Uh, got some of this on hand, 1K clear, some Mopar engine orange and silver. So here's the interior tub. It's got uh, the light blue tub and the body color uh, top portion there. And I got a shifter out of the parts box because the other one's just way, way too small. Used a Molotow chrome pen on the door cards and the cranks. It's looking pretty good. Uh, this is basically going to be a box stock build, you know, for 48 hours. There's not really too much customizing I can do, but there's, uh, you know, some parts box items in here. I'm going to use like these ET style wheels for the front. Uh, most of the gasser uh, pictures I've seen online had these wheels on it. So I'm glad I had a set for this. This is going to look really nice and authentic. I'm going to go ahead and go with the original kit wheels for the back because even the ones I saw online, the wheels were real similar to this. So, uh, wheels are going to be really sharp. What's going to be better than uh, the kit wheels that's supplied here? These are the Halibram type wheels. That's I haven't really seen any gasses with that. So, I'm glad I got these ET style wheels to, to uh, make it look authentic. So I did some minor assembly today and some uh, a lot of painting, like I said. The belt housings painted, transmission. So this is, uh, I'll, I'll be done with this shortly. Uh, let's see, I did the bumpers in silver because I thought that was a really uh, neat appearance. And most of the gassers I saw online had silver painted bumpers, so that's a nice touch. And I went ahead and removed the chrome trim from the, the rear panel here because um, gasers really don't have molding and trim on it uh, you know, to reduce weight. So, uh, and this had an SS emblem on it. I didn't want that on there, so I removed the SS emblem. I'm surprised Mobius didn't do it, but, and this is the 64 Chevy rear, I think. So I'm going with that. I thought that was a clean look and it's uh, matches what I've seen in the in my prior video, so I'm gonna try and mimic that as much as possible. So I want that with that uh, rear panel instead of the '65. And let's see what else I got. So I got a whole bunch of black parts here. I still got a whole bunch of assembly I have to do tonight. I'm gonna work like three more hours tonight, and then jump up in the morning and try to finish this tomorrow. Can I get it done? I hope so. There's still a lot to do, but at least I got the hard part done. Uh, so let's take a look at the body real quick. So this is what I have so far. Stupid color, blue. It's not perfect, but it's good for a 48 hour group build. Still have to cut and buff it, but it pops in the sun. So yeah, it's uh, really nice. It still hasn't cured yet, so I'm probably gonna buff it out tomorrow, but uh, I don't wanna do it tonight. So I have to let this cure. Still a little tacky. I'm really surprised because most of the time this stuff really hardens real fast. So, uh, but yeah, that'll be tomorrow. It's it'll be pretty nice though. So. Uh, so with that, thanks for tuning in and seeing my update. And I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully with the final product. See you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.